people, it's me, Miss Cribs, and I'm sitting at home looking at algebra. <laughs> and I decided to take a moment and show you how to solve an equation in one variable. Equation in one variable means that when you look at the equation, all you see is one type of variable, like all you see is x. Or you can look at the equation and all you see is y. That is why they call it a linear equation in one variable. So let's take a look. Okay, what you see is the first example. And this is a linear equation in one variable. All you see is x in this equation. And first step to solving a problem like this is you want to list any restrictions. Restrictions are values of x that you know that you can't have in the equation. And the way that you know you have restrictions is if you have a variable in the denominator or you have some type of square root, then that is a sign that you may have restrictions. In this case, we have variables in the denominator. So we want to figure out what the restrictions are going to be. So in the corner, I'm just going to write restrictions. And the way that I find the values is I just set whatever I have in the denominator equal to zero. I say this is what I don't want my denominator to be equal to because you know if you divide by zero, then that creates an undefined. So I need to find the values of x that make my denominator equal to zero. So if I solve this, I get x cannot be equal to 1. Because if you had x equals 1, then you would have 1 minus 1 in the denominator. That's not going to work. Next step is to get rid of the fractions. And the way we do that is we're going to multiply by the LCD. The LCD in this case is going to be x minus 1. So I make a big bracket around the entire equation, and I'm going to multiply everything by x minus 1. The first term, when I multiply, I get 3x. The next term, I multiply, I get 2 times x minus 1. And then the last term, I get 3. As you see, I have an equation with no fractions. So what I can do now is go ahead and solve the equation. I'm going to distribute the 2. I'm going to combine my like terms. I'm going to add 2 to both sides to isolate my variable term. And then last step is to divide by 5. And I end up getting a value x is equal to 1. But we have a problem because at the very beginning I said x cannot be equal to 1 because that will make 0 in my denominator. So because x cannot be equal to 1, the answer to this is no solution. So sad face. Let's try another example. Um, this equation, again, is a linear equation in one variable. And we want to solve for x. So step one, let's list the restrictions. So as you notice, you have three denominators here. You have x minus 2, x minus 1, and then you have a denominator that has both. So the one that has both, I'm going to say that I don't want that equal to 0. That's the same thing as setting the other two equal to 0. So let's just do this all in one step. And take x minus 1, x minus 2, and say that we don't want this to be equal to 0. To figure out what values of x we cannot have. And those two values are going to be x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. So I don't want x to be equal to 1, and I don't want x to be equal to 2. If I get either one of those answers, then I have to cross them out and say, okay, I can't have that. So step number two is to get rid of the fractions. The way you get rid of a fraction is you multiply by the LCD. In this case, the LCD is going to be x minus 1, x minus 2. So I put big brackets around the entire equation, and I'm going to multiply each one by x minus 1, x minus 2. So I want to go a little bit slower on this so you can understand how my denominator crosses out. So if I take this first term, 
I get 3 over x minus 2 and I'm going to multiply by the LCD. I can put that LCD over 1. That means the same thing. I'm just turning that LCD into a fraction. And notice what crosses out the x minus 2. And that leaves me with just 3x minus 1. Let's do it again. For the second term, I have 1 over x minus 1, and I'm going to multiply by the LCD, or the LCD over 1. That means the same thing. And in this case, what crosses out is the x minus 1. And I'm left with x minus 2. Now, the last one, I have 7 over x minus 1 x minus 2 and I'm going to multiply by the LCD and what crosses out in this case is going to be both of my terms x minus 1 and x minus 2 so the only thing I have left is a 7 so let's put all of this back together the first term was 3 x minus 1 equals the second term was just x minus 2 and then the last term was just 7. So as you see, an equation with no fractions. So let's solve. Distribute the 3. We're going to combine the like terms. The negative 2 plus 7 is going to give you positive 5. So x plus 5. Now I bring my variables together, so I subtract. That gives me 2x. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to move the 3 to the other side. That's going to give me 8. Last step is dividing by 2, and I get x is equal to 4. Now x equals 4. x is not equal to 1 and is not equal to 2, so this qualifies as a good answer. Hope that was helpful.